hey everybody welcome back to my channel today is december the 7th when i'm recording this video i just wanted to add the date in because i do have about three videos that are already scheduled so i want to see when this video would actually be scheduled so i wanted to go over this with you all and let me see if i'm able to make this a little bit brighter i'm here at work but I feel that this needed to be done because I actually want to keep track of what I have in my savings. So, with that being said, we are going to check out the A5 binder and see what I have available. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit and just put this right here. So for family, I know this is the 1K Savings Challenge, and I'm going to start back doing that one pretty soon. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Desiree. I do all things budgeting on my channel, and I do also, I don't know what I just said, but I also share shorts of Jasmine, which is the dog. If you haven't seen her shorts, shorts check them out. <laughs> So this is family and this is for family trips, family, just overall in general. So we only have 25, 30, 31, 32, 33. So 30, 31, 32, 33 for family. And I definitely need to start adding more cash. But if you've been to my channel and been watching my videos, then you know. When it comes to holidays, and as you can see, I have been shopping, so I only have 20, 40, 60, 80 in cash. Eighty in cash. When it comes to stress reducer, which I actually forgot about it, but I do have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 80, 700 dollars for a stress reducer. So this is just pretty much another emergency fund that I would try to use first before actually using my big emergency fund so that's why it's like that when it comes to car everything so all of this in here is part of my down payment which i'm not going to include but i am going to include this for a car so we have 100 200 300 400 20 40 60 80 4, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86. So, $600 for car maintenance so far. And I'm not including the other because I'm fixing to get rid of that since I am looking for a car. What number did I say? Did I say 600? Um, 600, I think. For home, we don't have anything in any envelope. So home has nothing. When it comes to medical, so overall this should be $110, but I started out with 95. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 10. So, when I did my first paycheck budget, which you'll see in one of the previous videos, you'll see where I added 15 bucks. So, I'm just starting out with 95, which is accurate. And when it comes to vacation and cash, I'm not really sure how much this is, but I probably could add this money with family, but I'm not. It's okay. 5, 6, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
16 17 bucks and let me make sure five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so vacation in cash only have 17 bucks and i do have cash saved online as well as you can see but i'm writing it separately that way my mind won't be all twisted and whatnot so that's why you see it like that and then we have just a overall general savings i know it don't have much in it now because i've been using it for lifts and extra food things like that but overall we have 5 10 15 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 bucks that I can pretty much use for anything because it doesn't have a name it's just saving so 26 and then that's that when it comes to the envelopes that's in here back to bank rent rollover Desiree Travis Jasmine household grocery things like that these would be considered extra cash envelopes so let's say I save for myself in my wallet and I don't spend it I'll turn around and put it in here so I don't really keep up with this money and in the back I do have some savings uh, challenges that I can do and this did come from Brianna and this one came from Gina Renee. This one came from Brianna over at Breezy Budget Shop. This one came from Brianna at Breezy Budget Shop. And a savings challenge envelope just in case. So with that being said, that's all I... Hi everybody. Mm -hmm. So I went through and listed everybody's names in the order which they commented. So Erica at Black and Blue was the first comment. And then Red to Black Budgeting, Sweet Kiki, Nixter Budgets, and My Money Diary. So I'm going to shuffle this five times. So one, two, three, four, five. And let's pick our winner. Congratulations. Congratulations, Nixter Budgets. I'm going to send you a mesh on I have for my savings. And let me see if I can find my calculator. That way we can add all of this up. Also, I'm not showing Blessed to Have It. I did change the name to Blessed to Have It, which is my bigger emergency fund that I would use last if something were to happen. And I'm also keeping up with my interest as of November. So as of November, I do have 50 bucks for interest. And then when I get paid again, I'll just keep it up or keep up with it on the line. But I won't. Well, I guess I could add it in since it is savings time. So let me find my calculator. So I found my calculator. Let's see what we got. 33. I'm going to just do this off to the side so I can actually see the numbers. So 33, 80. I'm going to speed through this. So, so far I have $2,841. And I'm just going to double check to make sure I have that correct before I write that number out. I also have been thinking about the saving challenges I want to do for next year. So, let me... So, I still want to complete this and this one. I may not get it done now next year, of course, but I'll be working on these until they are completed. I do want to go ahead and complete this one. I want to finish this. Now, I did add up everything, and I believe I only had... 
$2,605. Oops, I got to cover that up. So, I had $2,605 to go for that one. And then, of course, I want to start this one whenever I finish another. I need to start this one that I made myself. I need to start this one that I made myself. And I need to start this one from a giveaway that I won along with this one right here. So... I have a lot of saving challenges I could do, but I do want to take my time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And depending on when you're watching this video, enjoy your weekend. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.